All right. Hi there. So the wonderful lords over at Napa Auto Supply have supplied the things we need for the electrical uh, for the Merc. Oh, and windshield wipers for the uh, Valiant. I already put those on. Anyway, um, the last time I was out, we had that uh, failure to chooch. The Merc is not getting proper spark. And uh, I did sandpaper set points, uh, which I've had to do before when it's been sitting over winter. But I would say there's not enough meat on those suckers. Um, they're still looking pretty ratty. And we were just weren't, we weren't getting shit out of it. So even though this isn't always the best way to go, you, you know, you should probably get a good idea about what's really going on before throwing a bunch of parts at it. But all of these parts are going to be beneficial for what we are wanting to uh, replace. None of that stuff would have I replaced. Dad probably did. I'm talking the coil, um, that distributor cap, the points. I would imagine at some point in his ownership that happened because those are common items and they're cheap. And there's no reason not to do them. So I am kind of throwing a little bit at it, but I'm doing that judiciously and I'm doing that with a concept in mind. So, uh, no particular order. We have a new cap. And um, yeah, it's all nice and shiny. So, the one that's on there looks fairly new, doesn't look very worn down, doesn't have a lot of miles on it. But still, the thing was what? What did I put? Look what I did, itemize it. No, we did not. This just has the. Uh, Oh, okay. Somewhere I have another invoice that has the other parts on it. That's just the windshield wipers for the volume. Anyway, no worries. Disturber cap. Check. Six volt coil, yo. Same thing. The coil on there doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like it's ratty or, you know, 20 years old. But, um,. We're going to put a new coil in there, make sure we get some hefty spark, and send that shit uh, through the points into the park loads. I don't know why I'm a sucker for putting shit back in packaging, stupid. I guess I don't want to lose it in between now and then. All right, coil. Boom. Boom. There's the fiddly little components. There's our point set. Very sweet. Um, I suspect ultimately that the uh, the copper that's left on the contacts uh, for the points in that one, yeah, it was either worn out um, or I've shaved too much off using my uh, sandpaper technique for the last five years. So a cheap part, good to replace. Uh, it will require me when we go to do this job uh, to set the, um, the gap on these points, and I'll look up what that is. Um, so I'm going to need a way to turn the, the engine over slowly in order to get it up on one of the lobes of the, um, of the uh, distributor in, in order to make it wide open in order to test that gap, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. I mean, I do have a way to bump it, but, you know, sometimes it takes too many of those. I really like to have a, you know, a handle that can do it, so... I'll see if there's a bolt on the front of that engine that we can give her. For that, we should probably take the spark plugs out. Points. Ah, uh, yes, rotor. This fits on the top of the distributor shaft, and it uh, sends electricity from the from the top contact here to each of the. Um, uh, copper contacts inside of the thing in order to send the spark to the proper cylinder. Um, another thing that eventually the top of this wears down and it doesn't uh, make a very good connection. I have also sanded this. The one that's in there now doesn't look that old. I would say all the stuff inside that distributor is replaced at the same time. So whatever the cap's age is, probably the same as the rotor. Probably You usually do all this shit at once. There's no point. 
it's not expensive. And by knowing that everything is functional and new and can carry electricity, that just takes away all the rest of the thing. This must be, therefore, the condenser. Yeah. All these super common parts, this shit would all work well, except that it's a six volt coil and an eight cylinder cap. But the same, these same designs would all work in the Chrysler. Um, there is a, the 12 volt difference, so. So condenser, I don't know how useful that is these days. I mean, you do have to have it, I guess, but for a while it was like, you had to have a condenser mostly to uh, avoid the electromagnetic uh, frequencies that you get and fucking up your radio and shit. But uh, no car that I have has a working radio. Not one. Not one. Oh, there's Papa Cat. Hey, come here, Bob. Hey, Papa. Oh, yeah. Alright. These parts represent the top side of the distributor and the uh, creation of uh, proper spark. And that's exactly what we need. Also, during this time, I'm going to have to look for my good wire and my really good butt connectors and soldering iron because, in addition to these parts, there was some of that shitty wiring inside the distributor. One of them had been taped before. If I take that tape off, I'm almost willing to bet there's nothing holding that bitch together. So, yeah, that'll be good. And I don't see any reason, once we can get some spark going there, no need to, uh, you know, think that the piston rings have all failed and they got no compression or whatever. Definitely turns over and I know we're, we're getting gas. Hey there, boy. How's it going? Can we get some food for you? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I was going to try and get out there and install this stuff today. Um, but two things. One, it was w w earlier it was really hot. And also we've got some forest fire smoke that's uh, blowing in here. And it tastes and smells fucking terrible. And it was also making the heat worse and just generally shitty. So it did not feel like a good day to be um, underneath a dark burgundy car. But with any luck, uh, tomorrow maybe I'll get a free... Just to put this stuff in, it's an hour. But now that I've said that, the wiring is going to be more. I'm going to find some shit that I don't want to know about. So, I would say, just gonna add another hour. So two hours to add all this stuff. Gotta find a way to turn the engine over so we can get the points to open so I can uh, check the uh, thing. But all the other stuff, it's gonna be the wiring more than this crap. I didn't buy any um, plug wires, although I do have other sets. These are, oh, this is probably a set of six, unfortunately, it's probably for the Valiant, yes. But anyway, I do have other wires if we need them, but I'm going to leave the, uh, if anything, the plug wires are what are, I think, the oldest on that engine, but um, I don't believe there's anything to do with that, even if one or two of those was bad, the engine was so dark. So, I might use the remote uh, switch rather than having to use the one on this. This you can be a little bit more remote with, you don't have to be on that side of the car. Um, so it looks good like that. Um, thanks for watching. Stay dirty, have fun, and uh, I'll bring it back when we go to do the uh, work on the work. Bye.